the Mars Curiosity rover is part of NASA's Mars Science Laboratory mission. It was launched on the 26th of November 2011, and it landed on Mars in early August 2012. NASA has said that Curiosity has been vital in helping them to understand the terrain of Mars, and this will help with upcoming Mars missions. In recent years, the Curiosity has sent back many images, and a few of these have been of particular interest. This mysterious light could be seen allegedly hovering above large rock formations. Those who saw the image immediately started to ask NASA what it was, with some questioning whether the rover had just captured an unidentified flying object. Although at the time NASA didn't comment on this photograph, they had commented on others which showed similar looking lines, saying these have nothing to do with unidentified flying objects, and are likely sun reflections, saying that they've seen similar looking anomalies in photographs, and they were created due to the sun's rays reflecting off a nearby rock. Although this is the theory that's been put forward by the space agency, some people aren't buying it, and have said that in the past they've seen mysterious objects hovering above the Martian sky. This has led to various different theories being put forward to try and explain them. One person said the following, I don't know why NASA is so against the idea of labelling something as an unidentified flying object. It's so weird the relationship they have with UFOs. It seems they do everything in their power to not label something as an unknown object. There's nothing wrong with labelling something as a UFO. You're not admitting that it's alien life. You're just saying it's an object that can't be identified at that moment in time. End quote. Others who have looked through Mars apps and old Mars images have said they think it's a UFO though, going on to say that it even looks to be in the shape of a craft. For years now people have said they've seen odd looking things on the Martian surface, and it's caused them to question what actually happened here. Scientists will tell us that Mars is a planet that doesn't host life, and that as of right now we've never found any evidence to suggest that life once existed there but amateur researchers have claimed to have found various anomalies that go against this. One of these is the alleged animals that can be found scattered across the Martian surface. Probably one of the most well-known ones is that of the Mars rat and the Mars crab. This photograph was first discovered back in 2015, and those who saw it said it reminded them of the facehuggers from the Alien franchise. Some who have studied the image have said you can make out eight legs, while many argued about its size, with guesses ranging from a few feet to the size of a car. As mentioned though, NASA are against the idea of labelling these objects as UFOs or animals, and have said that as of right now they've never seen anything that suggests that UFOs are out there, and that they are able to explain every object that they photographed. A statement that I should point out is often criticised by many. Those who believe that Mars was once inhabited in the past have said that NASA have failed to comment on certain images, but skeptics have said the reason NASA doesn't reply is because there's so many of these alleged anomalies, and it will take them forever to reply to each individual. Skeptics have said that NASA have replied in the past, and that people don't believe them when they present their answers. One of the answers they presented in the past to explain away these anomalies is that of pareidolia. Today people are still finding and debating photographs that are sent back from Mars. This isn't the only Curiosity discovery. NASA said that the Curiosity rover found evidence of Martian bacteria. Only a few years ago NASA made an incredible discovery in which the initial signs of life on Mars arose for NASA astrobiologists and research scientists back in 2004, and then again later confirmed back during the landing of the Martian probe. The private space agency originally saw signs of a methane plume ejecting from the surface of Mars, and began to quickly theorise its implications as an organic molecule, of which only finds natural formation via the creation of a variety of bacteria. After many sleepless nights, engineers of the space agency worked to send a Martian rover with the capability of testing the Martian surface for additional organic molecules. Later in 2014, 
Martian rover Curiosity began collecting evidence of methane traces in the Martian atmosphere and made a startling discovery. The Martian rover found that the methane on Mars grew more concentrated by seasons in the Martian atmosphere and directly correlated with the Martian seasons overall. This led researchers to believe that this correlation between the concentration by seasons was additional proof to the hypothesis that Mars contains some form of life. Methane is also an organic molecule, and the majority of methane on Earth also correlates with our seasons, as certain bacteria and microbes eject this organic molecule into the atmosphere during the summer and autumn seasons, similar to what the data shows in spikes of methane across the Martian atmosphere. Although definitive signs of life have yet to be observed on the Red Planet, the odds of this observation seem to be more and more promising with the passing years as Curiosity uncovers additional complex organic molecules and continues its drilling processes to locate biosignatures of life. This has led many researchers to theorise that the formation of these bacteria could have taken place over millions of years, as well as the fact that there could have been at one point in time far more complex life on the surface of Mars before the complete removal of its atmosphere leading to a number of extremophiles still existing on the Martian surface today. As of right now, NASA plans to put humans on Mars by 2033. SpaceX have said they plan to be the first to put humans on the Red Planet, saying that they want to do this by 2030. So what do you make of this interesting photograph that was taken by the Curiosity rover? Do you think it shows an unidentified flying object? Or is this a sun ray reflecting off a nearby rock? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.